Well, tonight, this man right here is being held without bail in a sexual assault in the Fenway neighborhood. Within hours of Michael Papora's court appearance, we learned that he's also facing charges for another frightening crime in Winchester. That's where our Paul Burton is live with details on this tonight. Paul? And David, I can tell you, it was inside this tunnel where Michael Papura allegedly tried to kidnap and assault a 10-year-old girl who kicked and screamed and punched her way out of his hands. Kudos to her. Now, Papura already faces two counts of aggravated rape in Boston. Now he faces charges here in Winchester as well. Shortly after forcing her his way in, he covered her mouth. He threatened to hurt her, told her to be quiet. Michael Papura, the man you see here in this surveillance video, is in a lot of trouble. The 36-year-old was in court today facing two counts of aggravated rape in Boston and another charge of attempted kidnapping in Winchester. Credit here goes to a 10-year-old girl who was able to fight off her attacker very courageously. Police say Papura, who hid behind a door in court, allegedly raped a woman after forcing her into her apartment on Queensbury Street in the Fenway last week. Surveillance cameras caught him following the woman before his attack. While raping her, the defendant made statements to her, um, apologizing for what he was doing, and that he was messed up. But his crime spree didn't end there. On Saturday afternoon, as police were searching for him, Papura allegedly attempted to kidnap a 10-year-old girl who was walking underneath this tunnel in Winchester by the high school practice fields. At that point, he attacked her. He grabbed her. He put his hand over her mouth. He picked her up, and she struggled and uh, was able to free herself from him. The parents in this town trust their kids and trust the community that their children will get home safely. So the fact that something has happened to a girl younger than I am, it's just terrible. Papura eventually turned himself into police. Students in Winchester say the thought of Papura attacking women gives them second thoughts about walking through this tunnel to go to practice. Obviously, you can't trust some people in this world. And the thought of being stuck in that tunnel, kudos to that 10-year-old girl who fought her way out of this tunnel, out of his hands. Now, Papuro is being held without bail. He's due back in court on Thursday. We're live in Winchester tonight. I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.